So in this in this video, I will use YouTube streaming event as a screencaster to record your desktop screen. So this video also use this method, use the YouTube streaming event. The quality is quite good. You can directly post in the YouTube. And uh, I will show you later. And this uh, is free. You just YouTube streaming event. Of course, you need to have a YouTube account. Then you can go to create the studios to do a uh, YouTube streaming event. But you can which is a free account. Everybody has YouTube account, I guess. So okay, let's go to your YouTube channel. So you will have a YouTube account. When you log uh, any Google account, you can log in your Google account, you can see here, you can go to the creator studio. And under the living streaming, live streaming, you create events. When you create events, you can see here, this is my history, I already have recorded video here. But you can create a new event. So for example, I, you can create new live event here. So after you create new live event, you can put a title that Use your as and this option of public and private. You better choose private because you need to add the audio video. You after you satisfy, then you become public. You over you put a private. If you said private, only you can see it. So you can delete, modify any time. Nobody can know what you are doing here. So I would say that this one everything you can put it before. You can put a description tag later. Then you go to go live now. Uh, How the go live now is that you will now enter the Google hand up on air. So you can stream live even for your webcam. Of course, I will not stream from webcam, but I have option to stream from my screen share, to see my screen. So of course, you also can turn off your webcam. There's option to turn off, but you need to turn on your microphone. You want to record your voice. So you can click OK. So I already installed Google Hand up, but if your first time, Let's here give this page that install the handouts plugin to get started. You need to install plugin. After you install plugin, you have a download file here for Google Voice and Video Setup. I will create this one. You install Voice and Video Setup. So I already installed this plugin. So I go to my page here. Google Hangout, this one. So in this one, you can see the screen here. This is turn camera on or off. Of course, you want to, don't want to turn on the camera. You want to turn off, but you need to unmute your microphone so you can record your voice. So after this one, you click this one. This is important, screen share. So you share your screen. So after you click screen share, you need to select options. You can select full screen or particular screen. Of course, you need to share the full screen. You will share particular screen. You will show another screen you will not see. So better option to see the full screen options there. So after you use a screen share, then you can recall type anything here in the text to explain. And this is will be recorded. So after you record everything here, when you finish, you can click stop broadcast here. After you click stop broadcast, then you go to your video manager. Click your video manager. You can see here, use YouTube as screencast to record that. So you can see here, 
in your video manager. You can edit your video manager here. You can set description, put the keyword here, screencast, because you can make this private become public, and you can monetize. You have some other one setting. You can see the video quality here. This video quality is it's quite good. So in summary, I use the YouTube streaming event as a screencast to record desktop screen. It's free and quality is quite good. You can directly post in YouTube. You can change the private to public, but normally it's better you can use options to record full screen or screen, not the options, particular one screen. You can see here. When you click this one, you will show, show the options. There, you can see here, screen share. We click screen share, that's option here, full screen. And this one, if you click, for example, only one notepad or one screen, it will only show here. Later, when you change it to another screen, you will not see here, this other screen, only see this screen. So it's better you choose the full screen, then all your screens, when you change it between different screens, it will record it. So better to choose this one. Thank you for your watching. Bye.